Okay, so we're ready to start trying to see if we can convert a Mixamo animation over to a Fortnite character. So to get started with this, we're gonna be using something called the IK Rig Retargeter. And to get to it, we're just going to right click and go to animation and go to retargeting. And they have greatly simplified this from how it is in Unreal Engine. This is getting simpler and simpler, so it's really great. Before we can use the retargeter, we need to create two IK rigs. So that's what we're gonna do right now. I'm gonna to go to IK rig, and I'm gonna call this, you're gonna need a source and a target. So I'm gonna call this source. And if you're curious about where the Fortnite character is, it's actually in the characters folder. And if you come to player basics, there is the rig right there, the skeletal mesh that we're gonna be using. So unfortunately it's different from the mannequins in Unreal Engine, and it's different from the Mixamo characters, so that's why we have to do this retargeting. But instead of going bone by bone, we're actually going with a chain of bones, which is really interesting and very simplifying. So we should be able to get pretty close to the Mixamo animation. So let me right click again and go to Animation, Control Rig, IK Rig. And this is gonna be Target, Control, FN. All right? And there's just a few things. This is a little more involved because we, because the character is moving, we have, there's an issue with the feet clipping into the ground. So we do have to add something that are called IK goals. So hopefully we won't hit any glitches with that, but we'll do the best we can. And at least you'll have a general idea of how it works. Anyway, we're going to double click into the source and let's do the source first. So this is kind of a repetitive process. The first thing we do is just come over here and get our Mixamo rig. So it's this one right here. And if we zoom out, there he is right there. And what we can do is we're just going to create chains, seven chains, and sometimes a chain will just be a single bone, but they couldn't have made it any easier. The first thing we're gonna do is, the, is set the root. And usually that's the hips. So I'm gonna select the hips right there, right click and go set retarget root. And then notice how it changes over here. And there's going to be seven chains. So there's going to be a head, a neck, the spine, the two arms, and the two legs. So each rig will have those seven. So we can do it really simply by just clicking this first spine here, holding down shift, and clicking that second spine. And you'll see the bones appear here. Then we just simply right click and go new retarget chain and it'll come in, it's gonna be default named spine, and we'll just go add chain. And then we're gonna do the neck, and the neck is actually just one bone, but we're considering it like a chain, so we're gonna right click it and go new retarget chain, add chain. Then we're gonna go to the head, select the head and the head end, and right click and new retarget chain, head, and then we got to do the arms, so we'll go to left shoulder, and we're going to go all the way to the left index here to include the fingers. So we want to include the fingers, not all of them, just that one for now. And you can come back later and experiment with expanding these chains yourself. But this is what we're going to do. Right click, new retarget chain, left arm. Now sometimes when I click it, it doesn't seem like it recognizes it, so I have to keep clicking it, and if it duplicates over here, just throw one of them in the trash. So now the next one is, we're gonna do the right arm all the way down to the index. Retarget that one, right arm, add chain, add chain. We don't have to add the goals on this one because this one has its feet locked to the ground. So this one is just left leg, left toe, Right click, new retarget chain, add chain, and then the right leg, right toe, new retarget chain, add chain. And we don't get any errors, so keep an eye down here on the output log, because if you're doing something wrong, it'll tell you. So we have spine, neck, head, left arm, right arm, left leg, right leg. And that's everything. So we just save that, and we're done here. So now we're going to create this rig. This one's a little more complicated. So we're going to come over here and get our Fortnite character rig right here. And there he is. 
So interesting how basic he looks. And we'll do the same thing. So here for the root is going to be the pelvis. And we're going to right click and set retarget root. It should pop in over here. And then we're going to do the spine again. Spine to spine. Right click. New retarget. Chain. Spine. It's comforting to see it selected in the scene. Here for the shoulder we're going to go clavicle. Again, all the way down to the index finger. And before I did a shortened chain and it was weird because the hand was disconnected. So that's why I started adding the index finger at least. New retarget chain. Left arm takes care of that. Here's the right arm, the clavicle down to the index. Right click, new retarget chain. Add chain. That's good. And where is the head? The head is just one little bone there, but we'll go near we target chain, head, and then the neck and the neck. Just two bones there. Near we target chain. And here is the most challenging one is we got to create these goals to, that'll help tie the feet to the ground. Otherwise, his feet will be going into the ground when he's doing the dance. So here, I'm going to go to the ball of the foot, and I'm going to right click, and I'm going to click New IK Goal. And the solver is the limb, and go Add Solver. And you'll see this come in with the little square. And you can change the size of that if you want, but we'll just leave it for now. And then on the right foot, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to select this, right click, new IK goal. And let's see that come in. Now, notice when I do this one, it seems like this one lost its solve. So see, see that? I think that might be a bug in the program because I don't know why I'm losing my solver. So I don't understand what that is all about. Maybe I select, we can't select that. So I think this might be a glitch in the program. So I guess the solution would be just pick the foot that's clipping the worst for now because it's not going to have, as it says, it's not going to have any effect. So I'm not sure what's going on with that, honestly. But maybe that'll change in the future. We're still going to go ahead and select our chain. So we'll go here to chain and go all the way down to the goal. And it's got to include the goal. And we'll go new retarget chain. And you see where it says chain and goal? That's the one we want. We want to include the goal. And see how it's duplicated over here unnecessarily? So I'm just going to delete the ones that don't have the goal in it. So it could be that there's something wonky still in here. And I'm not 100% sure about that. So let's right click again. New retarget chain. Chain and goal. I'm just clicking it till I see it. <laughs> and then I'll just delete it over here. And then the last thing is, when we're selected on the goal, you see how it kind of added in something? It seems like it's added in stuff that wasn't here before. I'm sure that's not supposed to be there. So I'm going to delete here. This one shouldn't be there. So I'm going to delete that. I don't know where, where that came from. Maybe it came in when I clicked it again. So we'll get rid of those. We have the goals, but neither are connected to solvers. And it tells us that right here. So look, I'll right click here connect to solver so that error goes away but then look when I click this one that one goes away so I'm really not sure what that is but if I remember correctly I think the the left foot was the worst one as far as clipping so I'm just gonna select that one and then I just make sure that these are all still hooked up down there and that's the best that we can do <laughs> For right now but then with the goal the one that does have the solver collected we do want to set that to absolute so that'll lock it to the ground pretty much
So it's not going to be 100% perfect with regard to the feet. But anyways, this is the basic process of it. So now we're done. And what we're going to do, let me make sure that's saved. So we'll go save. And then what I'm going to do is now we can go get our IK retargeter. And this part is really simple once we have the rigs all set up pretty much. Well, I don't know. It's fairly simple. So we'll come up here and we'll select as a source our Mixamo IK rig. And it brings the body in. And this is really cool, actually. So we're going to get the target right here. And now let me back out. Now, traditionally, when we, we have these, they've been separated, like they've been standing side by side. But you see how they're on top of each other right now? But actually, this is a better way to do it because you want to match these two meshes up as best as you can. And what better way to do it than to put them on top of each other? So anyway, that's what we're going to do. If we were to just try to send this out right now, the animation would be pretty wonky. So, so on the target mesh here, I'm just going to try some values here, like 1.1 and try to get him about the same size as this other one. And to do that, you might have to kind of fly around the scene a little bit. I gotta slow down so I can kind of maneuver around here and see. So I just wanna make sure that I'm about the same size as he is. And I think it's hard to kind of tell with his clothes on there, but I was just gonna type in 1.11, just make him a little bit bigger. Okay, that looks good to me. And then you could try and tweak this as much as you want, but I think getting the arms lined up is the most important. So what we're going to do is up here where it says running retarget, we're going to click this, go to edit retarget pose, and then we just select the bones that we want to line up. So we, we click the upper arm, we'll see it come in here. And then with this control, all we have to do is just bend it up like that. And maybe take note of the number it is, like it's 47. And then we can do the other arm and then line it up. It's not just from this perspective, it's from other angles too. So like you might think you're lined up there, but you're really not. So like if we come and look at it from the top, see how far off the arms are? And that's gonna that's gonna show when the animation comes in. So we want to try to line these arms up a little bit better. So we'll just get the lower arm there. Well, let me get let me get this side here since I'm on this side. And just try to line it up a little bit better like that. And then let's turn around here and look at this one. And try to line it up too. And not just the arms, but I've also noticed that the hands, it helps to have the hands lined up. So that's... That's pretty close right there. Actually, I can maybe even drop that down a little bit there. And over here, it looks pretty good too. Maybe this could come down a little bit. What is that? The lower arm. Maybe just a little bit more. Maybe just the upper arm. You know, just play with it. And it's obviously not an exact science. And even with the hand, you want to try to adjust the hands. So you get the you get the idea of what you're doing. Like this doesn't seem lined up here, so let me just play around with this a little bit. Maybe the upper arm needs to come down a tidge. And then I can see where there'd be problems. You can see what how this would look weird with the animation. So for that hand, let's go ahead and, and turn that up. So I'm just gonna leave it at that for now because you could probably mess around with this all day especially if you have OCD or something so I think that's good enough in the words of mediocrities that's good enough so with that all done what we do is just double click we go to the asset browser just click chicken dance and honestly it looks pretty good the feet look pretty stable I mean, as stable as we're going to get them for right now, I think. So once we're done with that, I'm just going to go ahead and stop that. We just go Export Selected Animations. So put the folder you want to put it into. You can add prefix or suffixes. And then just Export. And just like that, we're done. And it's over here, right here. And we'll just drag it into the scene. And 
I'll hit launch session and we'll take a look and see what it looks like. Okay, we're back. So let's take a look and see what this looks like. Kind of excited myself to see. I have no idea. Hey, that's not bad. A little bit of wonkiness on the feet, but not bad at all. Coming all the way from Mixamo. So anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Take care, have a great day, and I will talk to you later.